does it get any more American than that? An American flag and a green John Deere tractor. Now we're gonna go into a place called the Agricultural Exhibition Center. It's uh, pretty hard to explain what that means, so why don't I just show you? Basically, in this area, there are a lot of competitions for different fruits and vegetables being grown, and the winners are displayed here. And if they are the number one winner, if they got first place, they will have a blue ribbon. There's also a winner for quilts. Those are like handmade blankets you might need in the winter. Oh, it looks like honey too. I guess there's a prize for honey. Excuse me. Eggs, I guess? It's starting to get busy here. Prizes for bread and muffins. That's yeah, getting really busy here. What else do they have prizes for? Crafts, I guess we would call it. Crafts. Looks like there's a, a teepee over here. Teepee. a house that uh, Native Americans might have lived in at one time. I don't know if you can go in there or not, but I can stick the camera in there. Pretty cool. Looks like some more Native American artifacts, we might call them. Looks like this is a, uh, a wigwam. I would call that very cozy. I don't think I would mind spending a night in a wigwam. you can also win a prize for photography that's the formal term we use for taking photographs photography See those vegetables in jars? We would call that canning. Those vegetables are canned. I know, even though they're in jars, we call them canned. I'm not sure why. Some Americans will can those vegetables so they will last all winter. There's also a competition for a scarecrow. Some people will put a scarecrow in their field to protect the crops, and it does what it says. It scares away the crows. <laughs> scarecrow. We are about to go into the sugar house. Everything in here is going to be made with maple syrup. So it's gonna be busy in here, I think. I'm not sure how much I will be able to talk, but just think maple syrup when you see all these products. 
We would call that cotton candy. Cotton candy made with maple syrup. Can't imagine how sweet maple sugar is. See that word granular? It's an adjective describing grains, like grains of sand on a beach. It's grains of sugar, granular. Have you ever heard of a whoopie pie? That might be a New England thing where I live in the United States, but that's what a whoopie pie looks like. It's basically like soft cookies with cream inside, lots of calories. Very busy in there. Probably not gonna buy anything in there. Maybe a, a little too sweet for me. All right, the next place we're gonna go into, looks like they have some really old tools. And they're also playing music, so I'm not sure how much of the sound I can use. We would call those things chainsaws, really, really old chainsaws used to cut down trees. Oh, looks like some old telephones over here. Right down there, we'd call that a typewriter. Probably can't get one of those anymore. And that is a really old buggy. Before we had cars, we had horses and buggies. This is the buggy. So that is a really old washing machine, but right now she is churning butter in it. Churning butter. Taking milk and making it into butter. Churning. It looks like over here is a really old refrigerator. And it still works. I'm not really a tool guy, so I don't know the English names for these tools, but luckily each tool has its name written on a piece of paper. The good news is if you're learning English, you probably never have to know what a caulker's iron is anyway. Looks like they might be making brooms over here. We would call those things brooms. It looks like there is a bunch of old machines over here. I don't know exactly what it's doing. I'm sorry. It smells good. Let's go over here and uh, take another look. I mean, 
does it get any more American than that? An American flag and a green John Deere tractor.